the vapors that are coming off of the oil and also coming from the dispersants are irritating to the airways so that they'll burn the throat and lungs, cause coughing and shortness of breath in some cases. They also can cause central nervous system effects, headaches, dizziness, lightheadedness, uh, even a little bit of confusion. Uh, a lot of people uh, get nauseated, feel like they need to vomit, in some cases do vomit. Uh, the long-term effects can include uh, diseases like cancer, also chronic cough and respiratory difficulties, or chronic neurological problems. Uh, the other thing about oil is if you get it on your skin, you can get significant skin rashes, both a, a dermatitis or something called folliculitis, which is almost like an acne-like rash. Both of these can be painful, uncomfortable. Um, the, the oil can also be absorbed to a certain degree through the skin, or some of the chemicals in the oil can be. So skin contact is not a good idea. And the oil also can, if it splashes in your eyes, can cause very severe irritation and burns. So eye contact and skin contact are other concerns for the cleanup workers that are working out here on the recovery effort. This is a half-face respirator with a volatile organic compound cartridge, which means that this will filter out any vapors from the petroleum that are in the air. The problem is it has to fit right. If you have a beard or a mustache, or if it doesn't get a good seal around here, you actually could have leaking and it, you're not really protected. Other gear that the workers might need, especially if they're hauling in booms that are contaminated with oil, um, something to protect their eyes from splashing. I also recommend uh, impermeable gloves. These are nitrile, which uh, are a lot tougher than regular dish gloves, even though they kind of look like dish gloves. And um, they'll protect your hands from the chemicals. For the people who are out there cleaning up the oil, it's important that they wear protective uh, gear over their clothing. Have to protect your clothing, not only to protect yourself from skin exposure, but also to protect your family. Because when you go home, if you have oil on your clothes, oil on your shoes, it can expose your family and especially your kids. Kids are a lot more vulnerable to the chemicals in oil, so you don't want to put oil contaminated clothes in the laundry with your family's clothes. Best to keep the oil off of your clothes. You can also put on shoe covers or just have boots that you don't wear inside the house. So the chemical dispersants contain volatile chemicals somewhat similar to some of the ones in the oil. Um, there, the toxicity is actually probably also similar. A lot of the chemicals in the dispersants have not been fully characterized and also the ingredients in the dispersants are not completely public and so we only um, have hints about the toxicity of those dispersants. Uh, some of the long-term respiratory effects in the Exxon Valdez cleanup workers have been attributed more to the dispersants than to the oil. And so I would be very cautious about inhaling these dispersants. And the workers that are out there where they're being applied need to be extra carefully protected.